Steph here from North Shore Bronco, and we're on our way to Crooked Creek. Just me and Emmett this time, so that should be fun. This is just the beginning of the trail, and it's actually pretty cool. So it's gonna be a two night trip. There's four of us on the way right now, and we got Ryan from Hub City Overland is gonna be there tonight with his taco. Should be a good trip. No, you're not, not getting out. I'm just gonna slowly approach it and see if she'll, she'll go. Yeah, give me some, some room. Look at that. Oh, oh. my god, we're like free up. Oh. Nope, she's coming this way. Oh no. Put a nickel back on. What did he say? <laughs> what Put did a nickel back on. That'll be the perfect headline for the video. Get off the road! Lucy would have tried to play with it. There we go. I'm just gonna speed past, we might as well go in case she turns around. So we're at camp. This is going to be me and Emma's uh, sleeping situation tonight. We're on a bit of an angle, but whatever. Should be fine. It's a twin mattress. It'll fit most of it. We'll just kind of huddle up in there. We'll be fine. We'll squeeze in together. Not ideal, but it's what we got. So let's uh, show you the rest of the camp. Yeah, it's the Rough Country Light set up with uh, being powered by the Blue Eddy EB55. I'll tell you right now, to be able to have like a pedestal light like that to set up your camp, it's amazing. Frog. So Ryan just showed up. He waited till uh, we had the camp set up, the fire going. So, so we got Christian over there with the other Bronco, with his nice trailer and pot and uh, tent. And you got Craig over there setting up, being all fancy with his lights. The <laughs> Christmas over there. Christmas over here. <laughs> and then you got us over here with the vertical twin air mattress that we're gonna squeeze both of us in. Hopefully, I don't crush Emmett tonight. We'll see. Hey, bud, you having fun? Hi. So what did you think of today? Good. What was your favorite part? I think mine was the moose encounter. That oh, was pretty cool. Yeah, mine too. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Are we eating moose for supper? <laughs> Hot dogs. Close second. We'll see you guys in the morning. I'm going to go enjoy the night and uh, hopefully it's a fun run tomorrow.
So good morning. Is it a good morning though? It's fine, but this was not ideal. Because of the seats and I kind of leveled the Bronco, the seats kind of give you this angle. So I was sliding down the whole time, kind of crushing him in a little bit, pushing him off to the side. I slept, but not great. I wasn't cold because of the sleeping bags. I think it went down to zero this morning. So tonight what I'm gonna do is instead of leveling the Bronco because the seats are like this, I'm gonna bring the Bronco nose down so that we're more level when we go to bed. But everybody's kind of getting up, got the fire going again. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a coffee then we're gonna cook some breakfast. And the best part of yesterday, I think is when, <clears throat> when we went to bed and Emmett must've said, I don't know like 10 times how much you love this, so it's good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm slipping out. <laughs> it doesn't need it anyway. Dreamer, it's the dreamer, almost. <laughs> All right, so day two, everybody's kind of like camping out at the site, but I didn't come all this way just to only go that far. So Ryan from Hub City Overland agreed to take me and Emmett to Canada Hill and a little bit of a challenge. So we're gonna go uh, test that out. Y'all ready for another adventure? Yeah. Oh, look at my arm. <laughs> I could feel water, but I didn't realize it was mud. Driver, the pair driver, yep. Chop that piece a bit at the end. Try to chop it. Maybe it'll loosen it up and then you can kick the piece off. Snatch block the tree over there. That one or that one doesn't matter. Yeah, and just pull it, pull it that way. Yeah. Should we do that? Let's try snatch blocking the tree. I'm gonna put a snatch block so we can pull the tree this way. You need another soft tackle? No, I'll be good with this. So basically the snatch block just changes the direction of the winch, so. I'll grab, I'll grab that soft tackle. Yeah. She's tight. She ain't going anywhere, not too short. Everyone got in the way? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. 
stay there. Back up if that snaps. That should be good. Good. That's how you move a tree. In a little tight spot here. We think we'll be good. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know, man. Well, now you're going down. Keep going. Your truck's good. Uh, one sec, you're caught up on a branch. <laughs> Uh, go for it. You're, I think you're good. Is that big one? Right? Yeah, go. You're good. You're good. Might as well get you through. You're gonna be good there. for a second.
All right, so we're back at camp now. And I just want to show you guys one of my favorite tricks. You can buy a beef sirloin tip roast. This was $11.03. This is sirloin tip, same thing that they make sirloin steak with. But this is about, I think it's uh, two pounds of it. I'm gonna slice it up myself into a bunch of little steaks. So you save about 50% of the price from if you bought it as a steak. Is that good? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good morning. So the second night was a bit better because I backed the Bronco up onto this hill here. So it leveled us out. Would I recommend sleeping in a two-door Bronco? Not for two people, unless you have to. So now we're making breakfast. We have some steak left from yesterday. We have some cheddar smokies that Emmett wanted and some rice that Emmett wanted to have for breakfast with the smokies. So I'm gonna cut all that up and fry it up. See what we get. I think that's one of my favorite parts of camping is just basically eating whatever foods in the middle of nowhere. Now that's a breakfast. All right, so we're getting ready to pack up. I just want to do a quick segment, which I'm going to maybe do after every long trip, but I'm going to do a gear highlight review. Gear that I haven't talked about much before or something that really stood out on this trip. So the first thing is while cooking the tailgate with the Mahali. Uh, it doesn't matter what brand you get. This is the, the actual Bronco accessory. It's really nice to cook on it because you have these holes to hold like the spatula and all that. So that was really nice. Something else that was really nice is the new Buck Your Bronco full-size rail. I'm not sure what the scheduling for this video is gonna be, but I did have the slingshot rail for about a month. There should be a video out for that review now. I absolutely loved it so much that I ordered the full-size rail and this was the first time I got to try it and I just put an excess amount of accessories on it just to try it out. So it's been real good. So I'll make sure to check out Buck Your Bronco and there will be a full review coming out on that rail, but I just wanna say how awesome I found it was during this trip. For the rail, here's actually my small rail. If you watch the video, they did give me a few extra rails to give away to Canadians. And I am gonna have a, a giveaway for one more slingshot rail and one more full rail. So that'll be coming up in a separate video. I'm gonna give this one to Christian, who is here with a wild track Bronco. This is the second trip we've been on. Great guy, also the only other guy that I know that uses his Bronco like me as a Bronco. I'm gonna go ahead and give this to him right now. And I'm gonna give him a, a regular phone mount with the attachment. I'm gonna have to mail him the, the actual phone holder because I don't have it with me. I didn't think I'd be giving one out while I was here. 
And as you've seen in the video, they come in this nice molly pouch. So I'm just gonna give this one to them. So yeah, let's go give this to Chris. You get her closed? Yeah. <laughs> her with the extra foam. <laughs> is, that, is that as close as it's gonna get? Yeah. You get a sec? I'm just gonna give you your... Oh yeah. yeah. So this is Chris and Christine. So they have a 2022 uh, wall track, but uh, yeah, he actually is the only other Bronco that I've seen that will come on trails like this with me. So I'm giving you that uh, slingshot awesome. rail from Buck your Bronco. The only thing I'm missing the screw, <laughs> I'll mail it to you. Yep. And this is a phone mount, Awesome. but I'm missing the, I'll mail you that too. Awesome, appreciate so it, man. Make sure you check out Buck your Bronco. Uh, they're the ones who supplied me with extra yep. ones so that I can give to fellow Canadians, that way we don't get dinged with duties and all those type of fees. So Awesome, much much appreciate it. Yeah, all right, I'll enjoy. put it to good use. Oh yes, I'm sure you will. Finally, another gear highlight that I wanna point out is, and everybody did enjoy it, I have my Rough Country uh, telescoping lights. So the first thing I did when we got here is I planted that in the ground set up the light and I lit up the campsite because we got here at dark and this was where we hung out by the fire pit. It's so bright that I usually unplug three of them and only leave one and then I actually have the remote in my pocket so we just kind of put it on dim once everybody was set up, hung out around the camp but that way you can walk around without needing flashlights all the time. I just ran it off my Blue Eddy EB55. That light only burns about like one watt uh, on low setting so I ran that. All weekend, I charged my GoPro batteries all weekend. I actually charged, uh, one of the guys brought a Milwaukee chainsaw. So I, he uh, used some of the my battery pack for that because at night I don't really use the battery pack for anything. So I had lots of power. And yesterday while I was out on the run, I was letting it charge. So EB55, great little unit. And that's about it for gear highlights. What was your favorite part of the trip, bud? Probably the moose. The moose? Uh, I can't, I don't know. We've been here for a while. I can't think of everything. No? Okay. No. Was it playing with axes? Yeah. No injuries. No injuries. All right, that's it for uh, just a, a quick gear review. I have uh, links in the description. Some are affiliate links, some are not. They're all great pieces of gear, so make sure you check them out. All right, so we're getting ready to go. I just, I need to go in that hole. So. Hopefully I won't break anything. We'll see. Emmett, if you want to go, it's now. That wasn't even hurt. You doing it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like so he's gonna get his uh, Rubicon. He just put 37s on, so he's gonna do it too. No worries. Oh, he lost his back bumper though. He definitely had a back bumper on there before he started it. And now it's gone. <laughs> 
so somebody wasn't paying attention to the map and uh, we took a wrong turn so now we're backing up a couple hundred meters Whoop. which is fine for most of us but Chris has a trailer behind the Bronco and overlanding trailers are very short wheelbase Yeah, so the short wheelbase is extremely easy to jackknife, so I don't know how long he's got left. Maybe I'll go, oh, I'm just gonna go out on it and see if Chris needs some guidance. Yeah, this is not fun. Oh, you're doing pretty good. You need a hand back there? No, it should be all right. Just, just, you cut the wheels an inch and the trailer goes by. Straight trailer this way. This way. Nope. Okay, good. Okay, straighten her out. You're good. You're good. What's your room? Is that the funnest thing you did this trip? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Yeah, it cracked when I went over it. I got it on camera. Get this on camera. You know why, eh? It's all that extra load that I'm carrying in my garb. Never fails to amaze me. Lightweight. Like, why would they not just bring that with them? They just leave their trash in the trail. It happens all the time, but that's what we do. We clean up as we go. the trail pretty soon uh, this was a really fun trip we got to camp with some great people 
Got to go for a nice run yesterday with Ryan from Hub City Overland. Hope you enjoyed the trip, and we'll see you guys next time.